Hi everyone and welcome back to another Wear It Wednesday. We're back to the winter looks with a sport look. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help it to grow and definitely shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started on another photo shoot. great to see you always great to come in and do another fashion video for you guys we got a nice sport look here we're sporting Victoria's Secrets pink so I can't wait to share it with you guys but for starters as always let's read our words of Jesus for women we are on John three seventeen. above all love is what it's called God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him. And that's the one right before John 3.16 is for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Then you got your next one, John 3.17, is he sent him here not to condemn us, but basically to save us. That's what he, you know, what our, sorry, that's what Jesus is, our Lord and Savior. He came to this earth to save us, not to hurt us, condemn us, he came to save us. Let's read what it goes on to say. Following God does not mean a life of rule following and having your hand slapped every time you do something wrong. Too often that is the perspective of those who resist following Christ. Sometimes that perception is because of the um, condemnation and criticism from Christians. Christ came to teach. He came to love. He came to challenge people to turn from their sinfulness. He came to save the world from itself and to encourage believers to live a life of love, acceptance, and eternity with him. Wow, isn't that beautiful, you guys? You know, that's one thing about God is he's never here to, you know, force us to do anything we don't want to do. But he gives us that free gift of eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ, who saved us by dying on the cross. But he doesn't force us. But if we want that free gift, a free gift, we get eternal life forever. And that's what I love about this is, is how, you know, Christ came to teach. He came to love. He came to challenge people to turn from their sinfulness because we all sin. Every one of us live in a glass house. So none of us should throw stones. And I talk about that a lot. We should never judge anybody. Let God be the ultimate judge because he's perfect. So he can judge us. None of us are perfect. So I really love this verse and I love how it starts off with saying above all love. That's what I, you know, I just love it. God just loved us so much. And in the first verse of John three sixteen, for God so loved the world, it gives me chills because he loved the world, not a specific person, not a specific country, not a specific um, nationality. He loved everybody. God loves everyone. And that's why he wanted to offer that free gift. If we're willing to believe that Jesus Christ walked this earth and died for us to be our Lord and Savior. And, you know, you believe that you have eternal life. Get your eternal life today. Get your salvation today so you know. Write it down so you know that when you die, when your time is up, you don't truly die. Your shell goes under the ground, which just carried you. What, what makes you, though, really is your soul. That's what makes you, and your soul will live on for eternity in a place called heaven of streets of gold, beauty, happiness, no more sorrow, no more hurt, no more pain. You don't want to go to a place of eternal, you know, um, pain and suffering, you know, because there's so much pain and suffering even where we live now on this earth. You know, you don't want to go to another place where you're going to suffer forever and burn for eternity. Get your life right with the Lord today. Get your salvation today. Get right with him today and believe that he is our Lord and Savior, that he walked this earth to die for us. And what a gift. Could any of us ever give a gift like that? Could we send our child to do that for anyone? No. But God loved us so much. He loved the whole world. He wants to save the whole world. And it's our job to save as many people as we can. So get out and start saving souls. And if I saved a soul today, I'm so happy about that. And if you'd like, you can even tell me or just write it down. Write it down and know that you are heaven bound. 
And like my pastor, we used to say all the time or says all the time, you know, continue to always look up because the view is so much better. And it is. It always is. And weather those storms, weather those storms because your rainbow will come. So even though we got to go through tough times here on earth, there's reasons for it. And we're just, you know, getting prepared and ready for paradise. That's what we're going to is paradise. Nothing in this earth will ever be as beautiful as heaven. So let's get right with him. Down below says, Dear Father, thank you for loving me so much. Sometimes Satan tempts me to get stuck in the fact that I have to follow rules. And then I forget that love and that you just want to know me and let me know you and let me know you. In Jesus' name, amen. Isn't that great right there? Because we think we have so many rules because, of, you know, the Bible, it's got the Ten Commandments, the rules and all that, but he doesn't make it that hard. And how it says here, um, you know, uh, gets me stuck because it's Satan tempts me and tempts me to get stuck in the fact that I have to follow rules because, of course, there is rules to, you know, following Christ. There is rules. All right. And then I forget the love and that you just want to know me and let me know you. God just wants you to know him. There isn't tons and tons of rules. He just wants you to know him and believe in him. Know him and believe in him and you'll get paradise. Paradise, you guys. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a beautiful personal relationship with Jesus. You know, that's that's our Lord and Savior. Let's get on our knees, our knees, and pray to him. That's the only way we're going to make it through life is really honestly praying as much as we can and reading the scriptures and really just spending as much time as you can with God. That's what keeps us so good, and that's what makes the devil flee. He don't like it when we're doing for God, especially when we tell him to get behind us where you belong, Satan. You know, God is first. He should always be first in your life, but you should go through the entire day with the Lord and end the day with the Lord. I watch this live thing at nighttime right now. Me and my husband have li been listening to it. I mean, not watch it, but listen to it. And it's just beautiful Bible verses and just beautiful things on just God. Our mind should just be God, 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 God. And your life is going to fall into place and be so good. It really is. The devil, can't. of course, he's going to try to hurt you. But the more we're living for God, the less temptation is there, the less that is there. That's why I always tell you, bring your Bible with you everywhere you go. I have a smaller one I carry in my purse because sin will keep you from this book or or this book will keep you from sin. So let's keep it with us everywhere and read it. Don't just have it with you, though. Read it. What beautiful words are written in it. Like the one we just read here, John 3, 17. It's just beautiful. Beautiful words in the Bible. And, you know, challenge yourself to do a, a you know, a 90-day challenge to read the whole Bible. Or a six, you know, like a, a, a six-month challenge or a one-year challenge. Just get into a habit of reading. Read his word. You're going to love it. The Old Testament, the New Testament. Of course, the New Testament is when Jesus came to save us. But the Old Testament, you got all the, you know, the awesome people in the Bible. The, the you know, the men of God, the women of God, what they did for him and all that. It's just a really good, you know, really good book. Pick it up and read it, you guys, and get that personal, beautiful relationship with Jesus and get your salvation today. I hope that through my, you know, my readings, of course, it helps me so much. I do it and read it for myself, but I hope I touch another heart and I hope I've saved a lot of souls because it is our job here on earth to be like his disciples and to win many souls to heaven. Just like God, I want all of you guys in heaven with me. So let's get right with the Lord. All right, let's go over the outfit I chose for today. We did a really nice sporty look. It's a cute outfit my mom got me. It's Victoria's Secret's pink collection. And of course, it's done in the burgundy and the black. And I just, I really love it. A nice casual outfit, but I did a little bit of makeup and just pulled it together for a little bit of, not really classiness, but just, um, you know, just a little bit more nice. You know what I mean? Just plain, but you can do, just go plain with this. You know, I did the little bit of makeup and stuff like that, but you don't even have to do that. Bun your hair up. Throw the hat on like I did and just go, you know. But I just did a little bit of makeup too. Not a lot. I didn't do the eyelashes or anything. And I just have a simple cross on, a simple chain. No other jewelry or whatever, but I will go over and show you guys. So it's just a sweat outfit done in the burgundy. And it's got the word pink across. And then it also has, I'll show you, whoa, <laughs> the word pink going down the leg as well. I love this. I love this sweat outfit. And of course, I paired it with the black under it since the writing was done in black. And I love burgundy for the... So, you know, the, the uh, fall and winter time, of course, those are great colors. And this is great for winter wear because it's chilly here in Minnesota. If you live in a warm state, fine, but it's chilly here in Minnesota. But I'm hearing a lot of states are getting some cold weather. So this would be a perfect outfit for that. Just to, on the go to exercise or just on the go to grocery shop or go out with your friends, 
whatever, but you, you feel pulled together still when you add a little bit of makeup to it. So I did a little bit of makeup and I sported it with a hat and everything and I'll show you that. But yeah, so my mom got me this outfit, a cute little, you know, little pockets on it. It's kind of a crop one, so it's a little on the shorter side. The sweat outfit or whatever, the jacket, but I love it. Absolutely love it. It's super cute and it was from Victoria's Secrets. So there's that. That's the sweat outfit. And then I just paired it with a black tank and I'll list everything down below where everything came from. I just paired it with just a, a black tank and a black hat and did my hair back in a ponytail. I've got in a, um, uh, burgundy color uh, headband. It was one of the bands that go around your head. I bunded around, so it's a little bit bigger. I just didn't have a burgundy one. So I just, I, this, you know, that was actually a scrunchie. So I just made this one kind of into a scrunchie, just wrapped it around the, the ponytail there and just kept my curl in it. Just got my curl in it. And then, um, you know, just, just to have it up with the baseball hat. And I love this. It's like a velour like a uh, satin. It's so pretty. It's real. That's why when you turn, it looks like it's got something on it. That's not dust or anything. It's because it's um, more of a, um, what do you call it? Like a crushed velvet. That's what it is. It's really soft and really beautiful. I'll link it down below where I got it. I just recently got it. Okay. And then the makeup will go over quickly. I just did some burgundy color makeup on the eyes. No eyelashes. I did put mascara on and eyeliner and probably running just a little bit because it's late in the evening, but I just went with burgundies on my eyes and it seems whenever I do um, different like colors, like um, burgundies or like uh, grays, or I do colors like that, the eyes really pop are really more blue. And then when I do like grays, then they're more like a gray color. My eyes always look different. I do have a lighter color. I, when I was younger, my eyes were a little bit darker, but as I got older, my eyes got lighter. And I really, you know, I love how sometimes like right now they look really more blue. And then when I do like grays and stuff like that, and I'm wearing like blacks and stuff, then the eyes look more gray. So I like how they look so blue today, but I'm just doing the palette NYC. So that one, I believe, is, uh, I'll link it down below, Walmart collection, I believe, um, palette. And I just went with the three colors in here. So on the eyelid is this one. Actually, the palette itself is called Mauve Midtown 945. So it, um, just look for that one at Walmart, Mauve, Mauve Midtown. So it's mauve colors and burgundies, and it's 945. And so this palette here, I went with these three, whoops, these three. That's on the eyelid. I smoked it out in the crease right there, and that's under the eyebrow to make a, or for the highlight and on the inner eye. I still did kind of brighten up the eye because it always does brighten up the eye when you do a little bit on the inner eye, whatever color you're doing under your brow for a highlight. It's always good to put some there, or you could use your, if you do a, um, a uh, what's it called? A, oh God, I just lost my train of thought. When you do highlighting, like on the cheeks and stuff, you can use some of that there too. But I usually use for that part, if I'm going to do it, I usually use the lightest color that I do under the eyebrow. I, I'll do that there. Or sometimes I do my highlighter there, but that's the one I use this time. So again, it's the eyelid. That's what I did in the crease to smoke it out. And that's what under the eyebrow uh, for a highlight. So those are the colors and they're done in the burgundies. So that's like that. I'll do an open and close. And then the lip gloss, I'm just doing the shine um, it's Shine sense, uh, sens Sensational uh, Maybelline, and this is a lip gloss, and it is in the color Sparkling Grape, but it's like a burgundy color, and I just wanted a gloss, just a simple gloss for this, because I didn't want to go all out with a lot of makeup or anything, just wanted to feel pulled together. Let's put it that way, just more pulled together, but you can just wear this one off and bun your hair up and go, and it's still going to look great, but I pulled it together a little bit more with a little bit of makeup. I always like to do that. So that's the lip gloss I'm wearing, and that's Maybelline. And then I'll do an open and close for you. So that is open. And that is closed. Like I said, no eyelashes, but I have mascara on. I don't have real, real, real long lashes. That's why I like to wear the lashes. But there's open again. And there's closed. Hopefully the hat's not getting in your way. Hopefully you can see that. And, um, but yeah, I really love the lashes and I'm getting ready, hopefully here to put on another, a set of the, um, extensions where I can wear it for, for, you know, about a month because then it always looks good. But yeah, I just thought today I'm not going to do lashes or anything. We're, we're, we're just casual today because I love to share all kinds of looks for you guys, not just, you know, um, classic, not just, uh, elegant, not just sporty, not just, um, casual. I like to do all kinds of looks for you guys because everybody likes something different. And then, like I said, I have this cross necklace on. I'll link that one down below too. And it goes to the side there. I believe I got it from a Christian bookstore. I love that. Just a silver chain and it's got the sparkle on it. And that's it. No extra rings or anything, but it matches so great. This outfit matches so great. And that's why I was kind of doing, like I said, more of a sporty look, but I wanted that word love in there. I mean, um, uh, pink for the collection pink. Let's see if you can see it this way better. 
So it says pink on the nail there for the pink collection. And I just did the burgundies and it looks so great. And then I wanted the black to incorporate it too on the tip there. But it looks so pretty, the burgundies with it. It's beautiful. All right, last but not least, we'll show the bag and the shoes. I've showed you guys this one before. I thought this can't get any more casual and cute than a, uh, whoops, a um, sweat outfit and then a little cute backpack bag to carry with, you know, just to have your stuff in and to carry it and to, you know, your, your phone, your uh, money, your credit cards, whatever, just put it in there and ready to go. And it's a nice, cute little bag that goes great with just a sweat outfit. And I will link down below where I got that. I've showed that in a video before. And then these are brand new. I wanted just a cute pair of kind of skater looking tennis shoes. So I went with this tennis shoe. I just got them. I'll link it down below. And they're really nice because they come tied like that. They're just a stretch on. They just stretch on. So you see it's got the give here. It just pulls onto your foot. So you don't got to tie them or anything. They come already tied like that and knotted. That's how they came because they're just a slip on. A nice slip on shoe, but very comfortable. I really, really love them. And their time and true is the brand. Um, a memory foam too. It's also a memory foam. So they're really comfortable, really comfortable and cheap. They're only $9.97 Walmart. I'll just tell you right now, Walmart. So, but they had different colors, but I like the black and it gave me that skater feel with the sweat outfit. I really like that. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, you know, this week's fashion, just showing you a simple, uh, you know, just a nice sport look. Um, again, can be fun for going out and playing sports or going, um, you know, uh, exercising or just running through the mall with your girlfriend, just having fun, just whatever your boyfriend, whatever you want to do. It's just a nice casual look. And I wanted to share this when my mom got it for me and I just love it. So thank you mom so much for this outfit. I know she watches a lot of my videos. Say thank you for the outfit. I love it. That's why I wanted to share it on here. And I hope you guys love it as well. Hope you're loving all these videos. And I hope you're enjoying me doing more of the, you know, the photo shoot with photos because um, it's so cold here and it's hard to get out. And it's just a little bit, you know, easier to do it inside right now. And I'm enjoying the photo shoot versus like the um, more of the walking, the catwalks and stuff like that. I will get back to that, I believe. But for right now, I'm really enjoying the photo shoot and the photos afterwards. So I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. Everybody, get your salvation. Get right with God because he loves us so much. He gives us a free gift. We have a Lord and Savior who came to save us. So let's get our free gift of salvation and know we're going to heaven. I love each and every one of you very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Now let's get on to this cute, sporty look. <music>
Thank you.